I can't. I can't do it. You know what? You want to move a rock? Get a quarry droid. Calm down, Ashara. There is no emotion. There is peace. Try it again. I tried. I tried already. I can't do it. Trust in the Force, and even the oldest and sturdiest of walls may be pulled down. Forget this. If there really are Sith on Terrace, we should be fighting them, not sitting here daydreaming. Patience, Ashara. One must empty oneself of emotion and find the peace with which to act in the Force. Now, try again. The Jedi Code states, there is no passion, there is serenity. Can anyone explain what this means? Ashara. It means the Jedi must be prepared to think calmly, even in intense situations. Passion is a tool of the dark side. There is no emotion, there is peace. It also means Jedi should temper their intuition with wisdom. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. Very good, Ashara. So you see, this line of the code ties earlier elements of the code together. Ashara, relent. That's an order. But I was winning. You must learn restraint. Varric is clearly not your equal. There was no reason to press the attack. We're training for war. The Sith won't surrender. We have to drive them back with everything we've got. These are not Sith. They are fellow Padawans. You show great potential, Ashara, but you must temper your fervor for the light with patience. Varric, Eli, and Cassius will be in the assault group. The rest of you will be support. Any questions? Then take your positions. Master Ryan, I think you put me in the wrong group. You are in the support group, Ashara. You will provide backup to the assault team. That's what I mean. I should be on the assault team. Varric can barely hold a lightsaber. Learning to support your fellow Jedi is an important skill. Varric lacks your confidence, and so requires your compassion and encouragement. But Master Ryan... Enough, Ashara. You have received your instructions. Join the others if you wish to complete your trial. I found the databanks. Our Padawan has a bit of a pride problem. She is a less than perfect Jedi candidate. Most excellent. In my experience, pride and insecurity go hand in hand. My lord, you went searching for crumbs and discovered a feast. She is easily frustrated by difficult things. I think she could be made to doubt her place among the Jedi. Hmm. Yes, it would be delicate business. But if I may proffer my most humble opinion, it's a brilliant idea. Make her feel threatened, alone and frightened, and then offer yourself as her sole protector in this harsh, cruel galaxy. Of course, you'll still need a way to flush her out of hiding and make the threat seem credible. Do you have any men you could send to attack her? I could fight them off and win her affection. Zash sent me alone, I'm afraid, but that's an excellent thought. Rumor has it Lord Anathemos of the Assassin's Pyramid is here in search of a particular holocron. Now what I'm thinking is, and it may be crazy, you can use that holocron to reach an agreement with Lord Anathemos for the use of his assassins. If Lord Anathemus can be bought, I'll buy him. The abandoned outpost is in a nearby region. I'll transfer the location, but be warned, it's swarming with rat ghouls and other monstrosities. Ashara Zavros, I heard about the ambush. Meet me in the swamps near your position. I can protect you. What? Who are you? How do I know this isn't another trap? You don't have much choice, do you? All right, I'll come that way. But if this is a trap, don't think I'll go down without a fight. Sith, I should have known this was some kind of trap. 
You don't really intend to protect me against your own people. Surely the idea of Sith opposing other Sith isn't surprising to you. No, now that you mention it, I guess it's not so unusual for villains to be at each other's throats. With all respect, my lord, we have orders to see this girl dead. Please don't make a fuss. This is not the Padawan you're looking for. This is not the Padawan we're looking for. I'm sorry for the mistake, my lord. Come, men. Let's go. Is that it? I mean, I guess I was expecting more blood. Don't make a fuss. You're asking too much, I'm afraid. Wait, my lord. You're not seriously going to... I thought... This is treachery! Lord Anathemos will hear of it. You heard him. We're not going down without a fight. Please, I relent. Lord... Jedi, don't kill me. Of course. The Jedi way is mercy. He will gather more men and keep hunting you. His master will kill him if he fails. Master Ryan says mercy has risk. It wouldn't be mercy otherwise. You call it mercy, but you're too afraid to kill. He's surrendered. There's no courage in killing a helpless man. Why do you care whether he lives or dies? He's just another worthless Sith. He doesn't deserve his life. No, he doesn't. But the same could be said of you, and I won't be goaded. He chased you like an animal through the swamp, and you let him live. I suppose you're right. What kind of Jedi would I be if I let this assassin kill again? Please forgive me. Your true nature finally shows. No, this isn't me. You made me. This isn't me. Jedi won't have me back now. Not after what I've done. What will I do? Join me as my apprentice. I don't really have a choice, do I? The darkness feels good. But the order, the teachings, I, I don't know. What do you want from me? He will gather more men and keep hunting you. His master will kill him if he fails. Master Ryan says mercy has risk. It wouldn't be mercy otherwise. You're only making this more painful for yourself. I won't do it, Sith! I won't do it! Why suffer for someone you hate? A Jedi doesn't hate. Please, girl. There's no reasoning with him. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. There is no death. Only the Force. Your true nature finally shows. No, this isn't me. You made me. This isn't me. You will suffer until you learn to obey.
fear, the anger, the pain, I relent. What do you want from me? I need to see the ghost of the Jedi Enclave. The ghost? But... No. Of course. I will do as you say. I'll go ahead and prepare the Enclave. Make sure no Jedi are around. I'm sorry, Sith. I couldn't do what you said. I just couldn't. You were right to tell us, Ashara. The Jedi Enclave is no place for Sith, and this one gives me an uneasy feeling. You said you would make sure there were no Jedi. I'm sorry. I couldn't. I'm not Dark Side. We are the sworn defenders of this Enclave, and we will not have Dark Side rituals performed in it. You killed them! You killed the Masters! They are Jedi, after all. This is all my fault. I should have known better than to deal with a Sith. Just summon the ghost now. Child, I thought I told you never to summon me again! Excellent. Truly remarkable. My lord, you are utterly clever and resourceful. Thank you so much for clearing out the Jedi for us. What are you doing here? Collecting a ghost for my master. I'm sorry it had to end this way, but you were dead and Darth Thanaton made a better offer. He's made me a lord. Unfortunately, he's also asked that you be executed. My regrets. Child! What's this bloodshed in my grave? I warned you not to summon me again. I warned you to leave me in peace. To keep your Jedi away from my grave. Please, I'm sorry. This Sith needed to speak with you. Your apology is worthless. You must die. Me. Don't let him kill me. I'll do whatever you say. Agree to be my apprentice and I will spare you. Whatever you say. What is happening? What are you... Strange. How long has it been since I felt at peace? Centuries at least. What do you want that you went through all this effort to speak to me? I wish to devour you and take your power for my own. Ha! Huh. You don't have the ability to overwhelm me. you just do? I took the power that was rightfully mine. What happens now? Embrace the dark side. Come with me. I suppose after all this, that's the only path open to me. Masters, forgive me. There's the easy way, the hard way, and then there's your way. <laughs> 